We're back with you here at Adelaide for race number two. This race was originally scheduled for 22 laps. However, due to some technical issues, it has been shortened to an eight lap race. Starting positions are the same as race one, which is determined from qualifying earlier in the day. And here we go. Seahawk and Stinky side by side going into the chicane. And Seahawk's going to go wide there and let him through, and Boza makes a great move. He sticks right to the bumper of Stinky and took clear advantage of that situation. Great job. Looks like Seahawk got loose come around the corner as well. He's already back into sixth position. Not a good start at all. And Stinky already pulling away a bit. Followed by Boza. And that's Brent in third. Spaz right on his bumper. Spaz is going to go to the inside and gets around Brent. Very similar to what happened in race one. Around the right hander they go. And that was F1 got into the back of Kelly missed his braking point. It's really tough to see your brake marker when you're bumper to bumper. You gotta question if all these drivers are at the top of their game right now due to the technical issues at the track. A really long delay that we've had. Let's go back and watch the replay at the start here. This is on board with Brent. Seahawk and Stinky side by side. Man, what a great job by the newcomer Boza. Took advantage of that, stuck right to Stinky's bumper, and moved all the way up to second. Great job. And this is from our speed cam here. Another awesome angle of him coming around that fast corner and frame him straight. Such a cool shot. Second lap here. Spaz right on Bose's bumper. Touches the wall there. Breaks too late, takes the wall there and drops a couple spots. Looks like his car's okay though. That'll push him back into fourth. Coming around Wakefield hairpin here. Seahawk to the inside. Oh, we have a pile up here. Oh, and Helios gets into the back. This is mass chaos here. Nowhere for cars to go. Timberwolf slams into Jarhead head on. Jarhead trying to get out of there, but not going to happen. That's the same spot that Seahawk spun out in race one. Let's get a replay of what happened here. I'm not sure whose car this is. I think that's Helios. See, there's just nowhere for cars to go. That's unfortunate. Sid gets a little loose there. And now there's going to be a drag race between Sid and Tony Diamond. And that's Don right behind him. This is a battle for 10. Somebody's going to have to give. Set does a good job going through that corner. A couple cars hit the wall. Don gets loose. Somehow able to keep the car on the track. Man, this is great. Following Kelly and his Monster Energy Falcon. And Kelly misses his braking point. Not sure if there's a problem with his brake system or what. That was odd. 
want to look into that and find out what happened. Cars coming around the corner here, getting, getting ready to go down the long straight. That's Bear! He loses it. Been a tough day all around the field. Lots of spin outs, lots of crashes. Just three laps to go. The cars come sipping through the chicane, turn one and two. That's Lawyer and F1, bumper to bumper. back in the pack. This is for 13. It's between Lawyer and F1, as we, who we saw just a moment ago. Bears right behind him. F1 tries to make the move there. He's going to set himself up on the inside corner. Door to door! Nice piece of driving by both those guys. And F1's gonna come over right and across Ten Bear's nose, slams into the wall. That car may be done. He hit the wall hard. Here's a replay on board with Bear. Let's see what happened here. So Bear just trailed, had a good run here, and F1 came right across his bow. And off he goes into the fence. Back into the front of the pack here. Stinky maintains his lead. What do we have there? Somebody's bumper. That looks like it's Spaz. Spaz lost his front bumper. With just two laps to go. Not even two laps to go. He's currently in second. Has a couple second lead over third. Not looking good for Spaz. That's too bad. Onto the final lap here. Brent's working his way in, trying to catch up with Spaz. He has another lap to try to take that position. Oh, Seahawk jumps the chicane, spins out. He had a good battle going on with Bozo. Had been riding his bumper the last couple laps. Got a little too aggressive there through the chicane, and that's all it takes. Diamond lost his front bumper as well. Just a few corners to go. And Spaz having a really hard time controlling that car. The front end's destroyed. Oh, door to door there. Brent gets through. Hopefully Spaz can finish this race. He's doing everything he can to keep that car on the track. And Moses smells a podium here. Oh, Spaz hits the wall again. Parts flying everywhere. And Spaz spins around. Boza will move up to third. Stinky coming around the last corner. He will sweep the weekend. No mistakes by this guy. Great job. And it's going to be Brent in second, followed by Boza, who does get the podium spot. And somehow Spaz manages to hang on to fourth. And that is, looks like it's Seahawks, so Seahawks is going to get a fifth place position, which he'll be happy with. Congratulations to Stinky. Excellent drive. Here are the results. 
We'll see you in two weeks when we head to Mills Motorsport Park. Good night, everyone.